In this video, we'll mix 3D and Morph for killer PowerPoint slides. You can apply this mind-blowing technique to any presentation featuring maps, top cities, dream travel spots, or regional sales reports, it will do the job. As usual, you can download a free template from my blog. Check out the link in the description below. First, let's add an image to the background. Go to the Insert tab and click Pictures. You can add an image straight from your device. Let's stretch it out to fill the entire slide. To bring back the original proportions, open up the Crop menu on the Picture tab and hit Fill. To close the Crop tool, just click outside the image. Duplicate the slide, click on the image, head to the Picture Format tab, and hit the Crop tool. Let's zoom out and make the image a bit bigger. Click the image corner and drag it while holding control. To close the crop tool, just click outside the image. Now select the slides and fire up the morph transition. Click preview to check out the transition. Go to the home tab and add a text box and start typing. In case you're wondering, the font I'm using here is Poppins. Now select the text and make it smaller. Give the top 5 text some extra punch by making it extra bold. Select all the text and copy it. Use the Ctrl plus C keyboard shortcut to speed up your workflow. Now type 3 dashes and paste the text with Ctrl plus V. Repeat the process, typing 3 extra dashes at the end. Now select the text box, then go over to the Shape Format tab, open Text Effects, go to the Transform menu, and select the circle option. Just sync up the width and height to get a perfect circle. Now let's slide it over to the right and bump up the size a bit. Select the whole text, then right click on the text and choose font. Go to the character spacing. In this case, four points gets the job done. Now let's align the text to the middle. I'm going to nudge it a bit to the center for a nice balanced look. Next, Copy the text and paste it to the second slide. Then rotate the text on the left by 90 degrees. Now duplicate the text. To do that, hold Shift and Control and drag it. Your goal here is to find that sweet spot of perfect symmetry. Smart Guides will help you with that. Now you can delete the text on the right. Let's preview the transition. Awesome! It's time to add a 3D model of the Earth and go to the Insert tab. Click on 3D Models and choose Stock 3D Models. Search for Earth. Let's pick this one. Now snap it to the center of the text with the trusty Smart Guides. Make Earth bigger until it fits the text frame just right. Perfect. Now let's copy it to the second slide. Line it up with the text and give it a random spin. Let's preview the transition. Excellent! Let's move on to the third phase and bring in the content. Go to the Home tab and zoom out the slide. Now add a text box. Set the font color to yellow. This is going to be the name of our cities. Go for the extra bold and align the text to the left. Let's type in a placeholder text make it a few steps smaller. Now duplicate the text. Here's where we put the population number. Let's make it white. Duplicate it and drag it up. This is going to be the position. Since it's secondary, let's switch to regular poppins. Shrink the size and go with a cool dark gray. Next, add a divider line. Now select all elements and distribute them vertically for a well-balanced look. Next, we are going to design a location marker. First, let's add a circle. Choose a solid red outline, two points wide, and draw two lines connecting the city name with a circle. Enjoying the show? Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to be part of our growing movement. Make the line red. If you zoom in, you'll see that the joint point is not perfect. To fix this, Select the lines and change the cap type to round. Next, let's bring in the real data. Let's copy it, then go back to PowerPoint and paste the name. To maintain the text format, select the Keep Text Only option from the Paste menu, 
then adjust the line. Next, copy and paste the population number. Next, select the content and copy it. Go to the second slide and paste the content. Align the text to the right and drag the content to the other side. Now grab the divider line and line it up with the text. Next, bring in the location marker from the first slide. Select all elements of the marker and group them. Copy and paste it to the second slide. Now flip it horizontally. Line the marker with the earth model and adjust the connecting line. Let's update the content. Now match up the 3D model. Well done! The design for the first two slides is complete. For the third slide, just duplicate the first one and move it to the end. Now all you need to do is update the content and adjust the 3D model just like we did before. I'm going to jump forward with some editing magic to save your time. For the fourth slide, duplicate the second one and drag it down. Update and adjust. Now, the fifth slide, our static content is ready. Let's make it move as we transition from slide to slide. Go to the first slide, select the text and the marker, and group them. Copy the group, select the second slide, and paste the group. Now drag it outside the slide. Next, select and group the content on the second slide, then copy it. Go to the next slide and paste it, then drag it aside. Go through the steps again and one more time. Now we'll go in reverse order. Copy the content from the fifth slide and paste it to the fourth slide. Drag it to the side. Don't worry about overlapping the contents. Next step, let's copy the content from this slide back to the previous one. Do the same thing again and one more round. We're officially done. Now let's sit back and enjoy the results. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content like this.